Hello, my name is Fizz and Bob and welcome to my channel. In today's episode we're back on the Avatopia server to take a look around the base. Um, in the last one we looked at the farm, uh, farm, uh, automatic farm farming system at the back there, that building there, with a nice little spider on top. And then, But today we're going to look at the bees area that we have on the base. Right, there are several, three buildings that we'll be looking at. Um, let's start with the first one. So if you like this video, please press that like button. And if you want to subscribe to this video, sorry, if you want to support the channel, yeah, subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time I release a new video, then press that notification button and comments are always welcome. So let's get down to it. Right, so in this building here, what we have is a um, the breeding uh, area. So you've got all these different flowers for the, uh, for the bees to go around and um, gather up pollen um, and what we have here we've got the these are the hives yeah these are the hives that we've man um, produced already so we'll take these two bees hives we'll stick them and these are the permanent the sources what we call the sources oh there's a bee straight away so we'll let them come out and then what we do here is um, get some more beehives. Uh, there's 23 beehives. We then stick them at the back here. Oh, I open the door. We stick them in the gaps above the fire. So let's stick that one there. Oh, no, didn't let me go on that. Stick it there. Oh, oh dear. Let's stick that one there then. So I get on top of it, we've got plenty of them. So next one is going to be here, and then the next one is going to be here. Oh, don't know where that went to. I don't want to. Where is it? There, there we go. Okay, so we've got the three hives along there. We've got the two hives here. Oh dear, there it is. So we've got that back right. And what it does is that they produce a lot up there, and not quite a bit of honey. Um, I'm in here. This is the airlock area. And then here what we've got is um, some of the produce that we get from it and of course the flowers. Now the flowers we need to use to breed for the bees and then what happens is, I'll say there's, that's the, 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 the bees there, um, once we've actually filled them up, just each one and then of course if we get stung we've got the milk there just in case. So as you can see here we've got the fire underneath these hives. Open this one up. You can see because we've got the fire there, what we can do is the bees are quite happy for us to actually come in here and take uh, their honey. So we've got one bee here. We've just got to wait now for another bee to come along. So we can click, give them a flower. You see the hearts come up, and that means that they've taken the actual um, flower off of you. I've just got to wait. Come on. Any more for any more? Push them around. You can basically just say stand here. So hopefully, there it is. So we'll give him one a flower. And what happens now is that they breed. They produce another bee. And what we have then is that the these hives already had three bees in them, mm. because one bee always stays in there whilst two, well, two of them can go exploring. And that means that this bee here is going to be homeless. So we can't actually go into any of these hives because they're full. So that baby bee will end up into one of these hives. So where's the baby bee? What we'll do is, we're thinking about the baby bee as well. Where is it, where is it? Over here, you can actually give it more flowers and that will mean that it will grow faster as well. So I've got plenty of these flowers. There we go. And that should ensure that that bee will grow into an adult a lot quicker than before. So there should be another. Oh, there's got that one. Got that one. He's happy. There we go. And there we are. So we're going to have a few more bees. That's another little baby bee. And what will happen now? I mean, the bees are following me because I've got a flower in my hand. Uh, we'll wait till night time and what will happen is these bees will find their new home and you just basically keep on repeating this until these hives are full well there's another one yeah so just keep feeding them and they make bees yeah okay and see that one's now ready what we can do here is 
go in here and take that and we've got it okay so we leave these guys to their own devices they will find new homes so let's go and have a look around this place so what that's the front part of it and as you can see it's going low. I like this design it looks really good you can look into it and see uh, this was actually generated as soon as 15 um, was released onto the server um, and this is a little, uh, little storage area so in here we've got like, more flowers, more um, campfires, we've got uh, the bottles, iron as well, uh, coal, uh, there we go that's what I was looking for, honeycombs and the wood and more stuff like okay, it, so we've got plenty of stuff in here. Um, next bit we've got, uh, so we've got beds as well um, so you can sleep and in here is the actual mechanics as well so what we've got is every time that we have uh, got what's it honey being produced into the hive we turn on a lamp so this monitors um, sorry, this monitors the, uh, the, yeah, the actual comparator there monitors the um, the hive and then once it it's, um, has speeds in it and it's producing then it produces we can actually then light up this lamp to say that that hive is actually ready. I've forgotten it actually did that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's the redstone for the detection. Um, and then what we've got here, so yeah, you can now see the lamps are on top of it like that, and that's when those are on that tells us that um, the hives are full. Now once we've got the hives, what we do is we bring the hives into. Oh, let's, let's grab. Where did I see them? They're back here, aren't they? There we are. So grab a hive from here with bees, and then what we do is we come into this building here, which is where we can actually check to see how many bees are actually in here, so that we know that um, we've got the right amount of bees. So we can actually put a flower out, which will entice them. And then what if there are too many bees, what we can do is put a, a hive here and we can actually then use a leash to bring the bees out of here and into this area and then at night they will then go into the hive uh, to hibernate and then we, yeah, we can count basically increase them. So right, out the airlock. So let's look at the third and final building in the, um, the bees area. And this is the automated side of it. Now this is the one that I've done a tutorial on. Um, so go ahead, have a look at that. See if um, in the yeah, in the uh, library or videos that I've got, um, you can see how to actually make this one. So at the moment, what we've got is uh, a cart and collection system coming uh, running below us. That picks up any things that's dropped by the um, hive. Um, Way we drop items, so if you come up here, which if you don't know actually this, no, you can't go up. Come up to here, we've got this system that, as I said before, monitors the, oh, monitors, um, the hive, and when the signal strength is strong enough, it then triggers the um, dropper or dispenser to make either feed over these shears so that chops the um, honeycombs out with the shears and then this is the bottles or we run out of bottles so it needs to fill it up so that feeds bottles in and what happens is that has to be full all the time so whenever um, it is this is triggered by the redstone below um, the bottle is um, dispensed picks up the honey and because this then feeds a new bottle in and replaces the one that's been lost. That has nowhere else to go than other than on the floor. And the shears will just drop, will uh, always drop the honeycombs in it, but the, this does not suck the honeycomb back up again. Now the, the design that I showed in the uh, tutorial is actually fixes the problem that I've got here where sometimes, occasionally, the honeycomb is fired back into this area here. And we'll fix that problem um, and that does not happen. But this is, uh, yeah, automatic um, system and I'll show you how much it does produce. It's a really good effective system. Um, yeah, that um, works well. So come down here, here's the chest 
and that is what we what we've got basically. Uh, it's a nice nice selection of um, of honey and honeycombs. All right, so that is the bee area, and that is uh, yeah, it's been um, been fun making it, I should say. So if you've, I think that's a good place to stop this video. If you like this video, then um, please press that like button. If you uh, want to support the channel, then please press that uh, subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time I release a new video, then ring that notification bell. Um, leave comments, that always is useful. It lets me know that I'm, the content I'm making is, um, is you know, how to adapt that content to meet the audience or improve it to make it better to, for everyone. So yeah, if you um, please leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and of course, um, Minecraft sees even the savage beast. So from me, Fizzing Bob, take care and goodbye.